What's your dream? Dreams are the rudder on your sailboat across the sea of life. Without it, you drift about aimlessly at the mercy of the wind, never knowing where they're going to take you. I'm pretty sure bed is not where you wanted to go. The problem is, you're not born knowing how to turn a dream into a reality. You have to learn it. And I suggest you learn it very well so you can really enjoy your journey and not be one of the millions of people who wake up every single day miserable. <laughs> I've been traveling the sea of life for many years. And I've learned a thing or two about turning a dream into a reality. In high school, I told mom I was going to Alaska. I didn't care how. I was going. She told me many years later, I knew you would make it because of your conviction. However, back then, there wasn't the information that there is today. And nobody taught me how to turn a dream into a reality. I kind of had to learn on my own using trial and error. The first thing I learned, dreams are fragile. It doesn't take a lot, and they disappear. When my dream faded away, it was like the rudder coming out of the water. And I drifted around aimlessly for years until I met some successful people. Or they met me. I'm not sure which. <laughs> they recommended books, tapes, movies, and taught me this little thing called the magic triangle. Soon, my dream rematerialized, I resumed my course, and I lived my dream. I would like to share with you that magic triangle. The first point of the triangle is your head. You must believe that you can do it beyond any shadow of a doubt. Remember, I told mom, I'm going to Alaska. There was no doubt. I was going. <clears throat> you must also see it in your mind's eye with such clarity that it's like looking out through a large glass window. Visualize not as it can be or will be, but as it is, as though you're already there. You've already succeeded. Imagine the sun, the wind, the sights, the sounds, even the smells on the other side of your window. Now, when somebody asks you, what's your dream? You can paint them a verbal picture with such imagery, clarity, and conviction. They will know it to be true. The second point of the triangle is your heart. Be passionate about your journey. It's like using a bigger sail on your boat. It will help you go faster. After all, emotions are the most powerful force in the universe. Use them. It's going to be emotion that turns the ordinary into the extraordinary, the boring into the exciting. Now when somebody asks you, what's your dream? You can add excitement and enthusiasm into your already verbal picture, turning it into a living, breathing idea. The third point of the triangle is the one a lot of people actually don't do. Your hand. Have something tangible that you can grab you can touch, you can feel, whether it's a picture, a painting, or just something you have written down. It doesn't matter. Just have something that you can see. It's kind of like when you're on your sailboat, you look at your destination. It keeps you on course. Otherwise, you're just kind of sailing in a fog. You may get there fast, but you won't see where you're going. So, have something you can see, and it doesn't matter, but whatever you have, make sure that it's exactly what you want, because that's exactly what you're going to get. Hence the phrase, 
Be careful what you ask for, you may get it. Now, when you connect the three, the head, the heart, and the hand, it forms a triangle. That's very important, especially the middle, because it's full of energy. You need to apply some effort or energy to making your dream happen. Same thing with your sailboat. Unless you take the energy to raise the sail, you're not going anywhere. And I don't think I've ever heard of anybody who sat at home, watched TV, and did nothing, and had their dream come true. So take the effort to turn your dream into reality. Now there's several things that you can do, and what I was taught, a couple real easy methods, is in the morning, when you get up, go through your triangle. Look at your dream. Visualize your success. And get excited that you are one step closer. At night, ask yourself, how? Not if, how did I get closer? And then answer the question. So that one day, you can wake up and not have to look at your dream. You won't have to visualize your success. You'll be there. You'll be living your dream. Remember, I said I was going to Alaska. I made it. I lived my dream. It took me 15 years to get there. <laughs> 15 years! <laughs> but I was always happier when my journey was going that direction than when I was off on one of my side trips or just clicking the back. So the next time you think about doing something else, think about the triangle. Follow the triangle. So the next time somebody asks you, what's your dream? You can look at them and say, I'm living my dream. Thank you.